There it goes. Yeah. You can go up to the top. You know how to map your inputs in this version. Oh, I gotta fix my inputs. Yeah. In original Fight Gate, you had to change your inputs for every game. So press F5. And then uh, just do your player one controls. Uh, like A is light punch, B is heavy, I think. Or maybe it's the other way. I don't remember. Weird question, but does Fight Kid go off of like a default pathing for like, for like a Dreamcast controller? In yeah. that regard, because because those I'm familiar with which ones are medium, strong, forward, short, and things like that. Yeah. The, a lot of them are different. Uh, just to, like if it's an SNK game, you'll have like D and shit. It's right, actually yeah. A is light punch, B is light kick, C is heavy punch, D is heavy kick. I did have the pleasure of playing on, on, on an authentic Neo Turf Mastered arcade cabinet at Magfest. Nice. Year. That's pretty tight. Awesome. In fact, I'll put um, some screenshots of, of, the, of the actual uh, cabinet and my score. That'd be sick. For the uh, Japan course. And it looks like the fucking Dom is the main place to put any and all things. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do, I, do I have to map it to player two? No, it should be player one. Alright, we'll see if that works. Okay. Okay. I won't post every single actual picture because there are like 15. I like to play some different things. But it was mostly for uh, sentimental stuff. I'll just put in the score. There's no score. Hold on. I still gotta fix something. Technician as well. Not shot maker because that. Or yeah, or yeah. Not shot maker because that would have been too easy. What, are the arcade controls like, what are they like? It's probably just like a joystick and a button. Oh yeah, so for that cabinet, I think it has only three main buttons, I think. Because the joystick was also used to club up and club down, using up and down. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it used only three. But standard Metal Slug cabinets, I do believe, have four face buttons. Yeah. Let me get a closer to the first so I'm something in terms of carrying all of the good shit first. That was ridiculous! This dude just ju just offended into fucking Power Geyser. Oh, I love that game over screen where it shows the sunset at the very end. The oh. Challenger. My bad. I picked my main character. When you're in your um uh blue health, you have actually a button combination you can press to get another move. I think, oh, okay. I think it's both heavies. Sure. I was good. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I just never played this shit. Oh yeah, and um, also on MacBest. Now, of course, I'm not sure if you guys know what that is, but it stands for the music and gaming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. That happens out in Napa, Maryland. Um, and they, they did have the front and back, like person to person, um, third strike cabinets there as well. And I played on a few of them. Nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. K.O.
Yeah, last year was only the year that I went. I'm glad that I did before the coronavirus happened. So. Right. Yeah, Matt, um, let me see. The names are David Wise, as well as Kevin Bayless. Yeah, yeah. They autographed a few things, got a bunch of pictures. That was really awesome. That's tight. Um, also met Sloby, a.k.a. Michael Sawyer himself from Red Supreme from years ago. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, okay. This years and years ago. Um, it was actually even earlier than that on YouTube and on different sites. Um, Red Supreme was more or less making fun of less plays as they were, particularly the really terrible ones. Yeah, yeah. Like mine. Okay. Put <laughs> <laughs> in this one, this one, and then this one. These two pictures. Round two. Fight! Cool. Dude. Oh, that's right. I, I can message the game here. Here we go. Okay. Oh, fuck. A whiff punish. If you wanted, to, if you wanted to watch the matches, Kong, uh, oh? it's on Twitch. Oh really? Oh okay. Uh, just, switch just me on me on Twitch. Or... Rick Fresh on Twitch. Oh cool. Okay. Let me see. Give me a few moments here. I recently. Oh here we go. So let me go in here. Round one. Fight. Oh, both lights is a third strike style overhead. Uh, wait. Oh, no, both mediums. Yeah. Both mediums is this, or both heavies is the. Okay. Oh, in this game, it's both uh, both lights for the same thing in third strike. Oh, oh okay. I was gonna say. Oh, I see. I'll look up this username. Let me do Twitch. There we go. Oh, these kinds of- okay. I did very few of these as a kid, but uh, I'm very interested to watch this. This particular kind of a PvP. That's pretty good. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, sure thing, man. Final round. Fight. Well, at first, I thought you guys. So after the advertisement ended, I think I thought you guys were doing the um, versus mode matches in Song of Adventure 2. Oh no, uh, we were trying to. We were trying to. Okay. But the analog sticks wouldn't work. I didn't really mean to pick my main, like... Five times in a row? Dude, she's too fun. <laughs> it's too fucked up, dude. I wish she was in another game. Yeah, f five times in a row. <laughs> Oh, 
Time for butt. Chris needs butt. Holy shit, dude. That power guys, there was an accident. I just I just did a fireball input from a guard and uh I was like, why did I fireball there? And I traded into a fucking super. Round one. Fight! <laughs> Trying to figure out any super. I guess his might just be double fireball forward. I don't know if it's in the air or not. No, that's a boogie. This is on the ground, right? Or hers? My ter so, my Terry's better than my fucking main. I don't know what that was about. Hello, hello. Hello. What's up? What are you guys up to? Playing Mark of the Wolves at the moment. Oh, right now. Um Reinitializing my PS4, getting things installed, messaging some, uh, some associates, and all kinds of good stuff. Okay, cool. You got uh, pictures of <clears throat> Neo Turf Masters. Yeah, and that was from MacFest from last year. Oh, that's cool. That I went, and I was really glad. So, like, of course, I played that game before, I think, many times, but never officially on the actual cabinet itself. So I, I had to, I had to play it for even just one round. And yeah, fair it's enough. 24 hour arcade for all three or four days that it happened. It did not close. What the fuck? I, I did read, I've never been to MAGFest, but I did read that they have that. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. If I ever go, I'm definitely stopping by. Oh, yeah, and it also happens, and I should you not, this hotel is actually called this. It's called the Gaylord National. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that too. <laughs> Oh, and fantastic thing about that whole business district, like that whole entire small area in National Harbor, Maryland, um, there are zero crossing signals. It's only stop signs. Like, there are no traffic lights, so it's just walk as you will. There's, I guess, technically no such thing as jaywalking in that environment when you just when, when you go on your own merit and just witness the traffic and, and be like, okay, yeah, now I'll, I'll walk across. this oh round up one up, update file okay and as far as i know every major hotel chain there just has some sort of like i'm not even sure what they're officially called but some sort of major fire blaster that's with that's encased in metal just to provide um the doormen and any people that are uh, lodging there just as a way to stay warm outside during the winter as well Get 
KO. Oh. oh yeah, and I chose the uh, technician because otherwise it would have been too easy. What are you talking about? Oh, for uh, Neo Turf. Right, like right. The shot maker is considered the best, whereas. A technician isn't terrible, but not not as good as he is. But yeah, I don't know that much about Neo Turf Masters. All I know is that the game looks sick and the soundtrack is fucking killer. Oh, it's really fucking good. Oh yeah, you should play. Uh, Rand, Rand, I've played it a few times, but okay. But random question is, uh, whenever you're on the green, are shots like completely free? Because um, it seems that way. You do have to be a little mindful of the grain, um, and your power matters a little bit more in that regard, making sure you don't over- well, it, 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 it's a little weird because it tells you the grain, but it's not exactly the break per se. It is a little bit, but it, if you are going up and down hills, based on the very small amount of information that it gives you graphically on the screen. That's your break going left or right, but it's very subtle. So it, it's one of those things that you have to really get used to oh, in the game. Oh, with the Arctic it's Fall! It's not like playing Mario Golf or Hot Shots Golf, where that's given to you right in front of you. Like, exactly how it'll break. Right. Okay. Uh, because I was wondering if, like, if you get it in, like, where they say the... Where they say the stop fucking meter, I'm like, oh, is that just a free shot? But... Not free, but that's telling you, like, technically... So, I think it, it's telling you that based on the distance, not necessarily if it's an up throw or a down mill. That's just, like, very bluntly Shit. saying that's how long it goes, and that's where you, like, quote-unquote, should hit it. Now, if it's totally flat, and you're either going with or, un or not with, so let's say there's no grain, and then your, your shot is totally flat, like, no hills. Keep trying yeah. to do that. The, then the hit, like, right where it goes. Yeah. It's one of those things that over time you'll get used to as you play. But not a deal-breaker, by any means. That sucks. For the Resident Evil 3 remake, when they were selling it, when it was the main road street takes for it. Oh, yeah. oh, I got Arctic. Oh, dude, t fucking the Griffin is like the best character in this game, dude. I swear. <laughs> it's all I used to play when I was a kid. Tzok. Yeah. Tzok is tight. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> I don't even. I've never been good at rock. He's got too many options for my brain. Yeah, actually, I really forget how I encountered slash found Rafael on YouTube or Twitch. I think he may have been recommended to me randomly once, and eventually I came across this uh, server, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Fuck. What is that? You're like red. Is that a guard beater? I don't know. Yes. You need to just defend. Oh. I've never even seen a guard break in this game. <laughs> You haven't watched too many of like you haven't watched like tournament or anything for Garu, have you? Because that's a that's a big part of this game. Huh. You need to just defend, otherwise you're gonna get guard broken. Like uh, the, the 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 top tiers will do that a lot if you don't just defend them. Like uh, Gato, he has like a Rekka, and that that yeah. shit hits like uh. Like, uh, if you do, like, I don't, I don't remember how many hits it needs, but, like, if you go through, like, the three hits twice, that's just gonna guard break if you don't just defend anything. I <laughs> thought it was black and high for those. It said you were crouch blocking all the time. 
My knowledge on character is super strong, but I know that much. And uh, what is it? The like best character in the game, Kevin. He has like yeah. fucking block string infinites that will guard break. Right. Oh yeah, today is definitely going to be a huge cardio walk outside deck. I do like that phrase, just defended, by the way. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. The challenger! My character! She's got core circle back punch, core circle forward punch, core circle back kick, forward circle forward kick. Uh, so that's pretty much what I play. And like in the air she has a dive kick one that's like one of those, I think. It could be like moving forward, I think. With a kick, like down a forward kick, I think. Might be down a back. Yeah. Yeah. It's real weird. Okay. She say lolly ho. I swear she did. She's like lolly ho. I hate that shit. I was tired. Final round. Fight. I could not figure out his fucking string. Yeah. I don't think I figured anyone's out. You'd think I'd be able to tell you hers right now, but I don't remember. That seems pretty decent. Ah, that's not really that reliable. <laughs> this move sucks. Oh fuck. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, I got another one, this character. <laughs> he didn't feel good to me. Huh? He didn't feel good to me. Yeah. He's always been my brother's character, I can't play that dude. This would probably be more even. about Fightcade, um, thinking my voice was on it, I totally would be down to officially voice over Fightcade. Just, just, just <laughs> like how John St. John, a voice that also did Duke Nukem, also did uh, the voice for TeamSpeak. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Like his voice, yeah, so straight up. It honestly sounds like Duke Nukem, so like, there are certain uh, text-to-speech, and there are certain options in TeamSpeak. So well before Discord came out, um, basically the same kind of application where, uh, Certain options that they would toggle on and or off, what he would say, like what you're doing. It would sound huh. just like Duke Nukem. Yeah. The challenger. Apparently, that super was an overhead. Yeah, apparently. How do you short hop? Uh, you jump it with like, you like drag it over, like. Oh, it's really hard. I keep doing it by accident, but alright. Yeah. Is it just tap jump? Oh, it is just tap jump. Yeah, it's like sensitivity. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Thanks. This, oh, blew, this okay. blew my mind. Like I was a, thinking of what it was in a different game. It's standard KOF stuff, I'm pretty sure. KOF is down up down for a short up. Because fucking JoJo is <laughs> That's how you hop in that game. How do you hop in JoJo's? It's just tap, it's tap uh, nine or nine or seven. Oh. I'm so fucking dead. I cannot figure out this dude's super. I'll fight your Gato with fucking Terry, maybe. He doesn't have rising tackle in this game. Yeah. Hey, I found my string. <laughs> Did you see that four hit combo? Ooh, four hits.
Terry Bogart versus Kim J. Fuhr. It's me. Round one. Fight! Fight! You said oh, oops. My bad. That's ridiculous, <laughs> dude. Oh shit. His uh, like meter move kind of sucks. Yeah. It's like real fucking slow. How are guys in there, be better? Got it somehow. Just, uh, right. What'd you say? Um, Power Geyser and Mark of the Wolves is just double quarter circle forward punch. Oh, I thought so. I didn't test it though. I kept doing the other fucking input. Play more uh, Jeanette or whatever. Alright, oh, he's got it. Oh yeah, for sure. Just defend is basically a this game's version of parry. Yeah. I don't know how I did rising. Oh, it's a charge move. It's a hold yeah, down and up punch, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Might be kick. I bet it changes. It's okay. I bet. I'll take one guess. I bet that Stanford Kelly is saying, I pick a top two. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That's why I thought, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I'm like, I bet I know what that is. Yeah, I think it always scares the shit out of me. Oh, I thought it went. Not, dude. Oh my god, and then I didn't. Oh, get stuffed. Get stuffed. Get stuffed. Ridiculous. Round one. Fight! No, you shit the bed! You shit the bed! This is be. Bloodborne, the player today will be so, so good. 
I can't like find strings for anybody. Right. Even the one I found on this character, like the way you have to dial in it is like really quick, I think. That was my opportunity. Also, sorry about arcade cabinets. Um, ages and ages ago, this was easily... I was 2013, myself and some members of the family um, went to Atlantic City, New Jersey for a vacation. And then on the particular recreational floor, with all kinds of games and stuff, there actually was an authentic MVC2 cabinet there, which I played a bunch. Nice. In, in, in a hotel, like not on the boardwalk. Well, I mean, in, in, I'm sure, it's like on the boardwalk, sure, but like not like actively in an arcade poster spot, just on their recreational board. That was like the only fighting game machine cabinet we actually had in mind town. It was weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah MVC2. And of course, there was also the classic Target Terror that I, ne I never once even played, but never wanted to play it after Round playing Time one. Crisis like 2 and 3. Mm. <laughs> I remember the one day I beat this like older guy and he was like so salty. I thought he was gonna try to fight me in the arcade. Oh really? Yeah, it was pretty tight. <laughs> he didn't know what he was getting himself into when he challenged me. He was like, I'll pay for it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Fucked him up. Nice. They just cheesed him out with Iron Man at the games. I gotta mention the fucking no refund sign. Yeah. Right. That was like a Chinatown fair or something. I believe it. Round two. Fight! Whoops. I just try to parry it instead of fucking just defend. Yeah. Hoping Bloodborne save files are just weird. And I get a Yeah, dude.
Oh. I swear that works. Maybe that's in a different game. Ow. Let me know if I type is too much and I can, I can turn it off. Okay. So I think you're good. Oh yeah. I have my uh, Yeti set to like do the noise directly in front of it, so it's, and it's like kind of left hitting above on the boom arm, so it should be good. The Challenger. Round one. Fight. Good shit. Okay, yeah, so Bloodborne saves it. Okay. And that's okay. No problem. What was that move that I just did? That's how you play that character. I tried to just defend it to see if it would punish it when I didn't get right. it. I didn't think it would work. I mean, it's pretty unsafe. Yeah. Round one. So you could just do something else. <laughs> Nice. 
the wrong. I was, thought I was on the other side. <laughs> oh my god, they come out. <laughs> I can't play this character. All of his moves are like backwards Ryu and shit. Last thing before I head out, I'm um, speaking of controls, I thought negative edging was really interesting when I first heard about it. Like at first I, I didn't believe it and, and I tried it and, and it worked. Uh, it depends on the game, and it, uh, but yeah, it's usually, usually something that Shit. most every game has. Um, the actual usefulness of it heavily depends on my game. Uh, Guilty Gear is um, Zado or Eddie, depending on whatever the fuck you want to call him. Negative Edge is like, huge for him because Eddie is controlled by releasing buttons, so that he's all about that. But, um,. In general, sometimes it's nice, uh, negative edging, like, ending, like, uh, holding a button down and, like, buffering a DP or whatever. That's all, it's, it's nice sometimes. If you're, like, not good at, uh, reacting or doing a DP motion, shit like that. Okay. Dude, what was uh, this crap I just did? Oh. Yeah, negative edging is cool. There are a bunch of applications for it. Not, I don't think every single fucking fighting game has it or has no, it. No, it definitely useful. doesn't. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a it's a cool it's a cool mechanic. Uh, I actually see it a lot in SF5. I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a huge SF5 player, but a lot of people seem to like negative edging their shit to neutral. But nice, yeah, that, that's really cool. And thanks for having me, Amigo. I'm gonna yep. out for now. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Alright, see ya. See ya. Fuck it. I have to play my main against this character, there's no way around it. <laughs> this character is so crazy. I want to do some combos.
God, that move hurts. I got fucked up. Alright, I found a combo. The challenger. You guys ever play Breakers? Mm mm. Nope. I, I gotta Breakers up more weed. <laughs> here. <laughs> Fucking. I'm getting fucked up. Dude, this character is so fucking top tier, though. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Round one. But, I can't- I can't even say that out loud. I guess I play Jackie Bryant. I'm just fucking fishing. Haha. <laughs> Round one. Fight. I don't know how to throw. I don't need you.
if it just walked up uh, C or D. If I remember correctly, uh, B Jeanette has an air throw. Is there like only back throws or something? I can't get no. more. That works. Okay. Why is my what's going on with my control sword? It's like I couldn't hold back. Alright, whatever. Oh my god, how many times are you gonna cross me up right there? Can you just defend supers in the air? I don't know. Uh well. There, normally there is an air block so you can just defend. You can just block an air? Uh, no, there's no air block. However, yeah, you, you can, can just defend. defend. Yeah. Right. Can like you do a super slip? Honestly, anything about not <laughs> just defending super. Okay. You can, uh, you guys know this already probably, but. You can like guard cancel the fist of them. Using a special move or a super and it just defend will like do it instantly. I should cross up. <laughs> yeah, no.
The only thing is that uh, you can't just defend if you do a pop or a super jump. Only regular jump. Yeah, I dropped the fuck out of that. I was gonna kill. The challenger. Round one. Fight. He's got a double jump. <laughs> yeah. There's a. I don't know if you're doing the weaker, stronger version of Buster Wolf, Rika. Yeah. But, uh, what is it? You know, it says like S power, uh, P power, yeah. S power, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you get stronger supers with two Yeah. And, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure the two bar Buster Wolf, it gets, it gets heavy kick, whatever D, whatever D is. Yeah. Uh, that one comes out faster. Yeah. You should look up how to throw for us. <laughs> he said it, I just didn't hear it. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's forward or back, uh, C or D in front of someone. Ah, weird. Some people can only throw C. Oh, well, that's okay. another move. You just did a different super and just got me with it straight up. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now to figure out what that was. The challenger. Round 